Oh no, don't tell me you're facing the unsupported GPU processing mode as well. The most annoying error. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to fix it now. All right, so to solve this issue or this error, we're going to follow the steps in this article here, which I have written on my website. And I will leave a link to this article in the description of the video. If you prefer a more written and detailed version of this uh, video. Anyways, let's get to it. So the first thing you must make sure of is that your GPU meets the minimum requirements set by uh, Resolve or Blackmagic. Uh, so the first uh, requirement for your GPU is that it has minimum 2 GB of VRAM. So, how do you check this? On Windows at least, you press Windows key and R and then you type in DXDIAG and then you click on OK and then inside this diagnostic tool you can find your VRAM. So either open the display 1, display 2, display 3 or it may also be called render. So here you have display 1 and here you can see the name of my GPU and down here you can see the VRAM which is 128 megabytes which is way too low to run DaVinci Resolve. So I will check the display 2 if it's uh, more VRAM here. No, still 128. Uh, render. Ah, here we can see it's 3964 megabytes, which is the same as 4 gigabytes. And the minimum requirements to run DaVinci Resolve is to have at least 2 gigabytes of VRAM. So if your GPU has less than 2 gigabytes of VRAM, this is most likely what's causing this unsupported GPU processing mode error for you. And then the solution is to get a new, more powerful GPU. The next thing we want to make sure is that our GPU supports OpenCL 1.2 or CUDA 11. If you have an Intel GPU or one from AMD, then you want to make sure that it supports uh, the OpenCL version 1.2. If you have an uh, NVIDIA GPU. So how do you uh, figure out if it supports OpenCL version 1.2 or above? To do this, I found this nice Wikipedia list here, which uh, I've included in the which I have included in the article. I will also leave a link to this list here in the description of the video. So here you can see uh, OpenCL 1.2 support and then you have a bunch of uh, GPUs listed here. So you have to know the name of your GPU which you saw in the diagnostic tool when you checked the VRAM. So, uh, make sure that your GPU is listed here or in one of the versions above. Uh, if it's listed in one of these, then uh, you are not able to run DaVinci Resolve. So, make sure that it's included in one of these versions. Next, to check for CUDA support, uh, I have also left a link here in the article. I will also include this in the description of the video. So here you can see uh, a big table with a bunch of uh, information. What we want to make sure is that our GPU is included in, uh, you can see here one column is called compute capability. And we want to make sure that our GPU is included in the 1.2 or above. So as long as your NVIDIA GPU is included in one of these rows and columns, then uh, you, uh, it supports Q2 
CUDA 11, meaning you can run resolve. If it's one of these, then you are not able to run resolve as of uh, the newer version. So what do you do if you find out you have one of the older GPUs that does not support CUDA 11? Then one thing you actually can do is to downgrade to an older version of DaVinci Resolve. So I have written in the article that after version 16.2.7 and above, DaVinci Resolve requires GPU uh, to support CUDA 11. Meaning that the versions before that, DaVinci Resolve uh, supported CUDA 10. So one thing you can do if you have an older NVIDIA GPU is to get this version here, 16.2.6 which supports CUDA 10. How to download an older uh, version of DaVinci Resolve? That's what I'm going to show you now. So head over to Blackmagic Design and go to the support section here. Then you want to scroll down in the latest download, quite far down as this is in 2020, uh, this version of Resolve uh, was new. And then you simply download the version, uh, uh, choose your oper operating system and then download it. I will leave a link to uh, this page in the description of the video as well. One thing to do before installing this version of DaVinci Resolve is to uninstall uh, the one you have now. So to do this, simply go to control panel like this, uninstall a program click on DaVinci Resolve, click on uninstall, click on OK, wait, and then install this version instead. Another thing that's worth testing if you have an older NVIDIA GPU is by going into DaVinci Resolve, and then you click on DaVinci Resolve up in the top left corner, go to Preferences, and head over to the System tab, Memory and GPU, and then you try to set the GPU processing mode against OpenCL if it's already set to CUDA because your uh, GPU may support OpenCL uh, but not support CUDA. So that's worth testing as well. And to do this, you have to uncheck the auto and then click on save. And the last requirement for your GPU, you can see here, is that the latest uh, GPU driver version as required by your GPU uh, is installed. So basically, make sure that you have the newest driver to your GPU. In that case, head over to the driver section of AMD, Intel or NVIDIA's official website. So I will leave a link to all of these uh, websites and their driver section or page in the description of this video. So simply fill out the name and specifications and everything of that in uh, this here, search, and then uh, here you can see the latest version of uh, the NVIDIA driver. Then download it and follow the installation process and then you should be good to go. I've also written more about other solutions to try. For example, you could try to downgrade your GPU driver. This may be useful if you recently updated your driver or your op operating system has updated your drivers and this caused uh, the error to happen. Then going back one version will sometimes work. And you can see also upgrade your driver as discussed. And if nothing else works, you could try to do a clean installation using a DDU to remove all signs of your uh, GPU driver and then you could install a old driver and do it that way. Anyways, uh, going through all of these things in this video is a bit much but make sure to check out this article with a bunch of details on how to do this. Uh, if you're still having problems. So there is a link to the article down in the description.